Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, DJ here for Crackberry.com, and I am looking at this app called Readout, which is a text to speech app from the developer of Pocket Client Read It Now. And uh, this is basically the first screen you see when you open, and you get this little welcome message um, just for you to try out how um, the app works. So you've got kind of text field here, which you would you could paste any text from anywhere. Uh, and then you just go ahead and hit play. It will download this sound bite. The longer the text, the longer obviously it's going to have to download and turn Hello into and a text. welcome to read out your new app for text to speech conversions. Thanks okay, for I'm just going to lower it down here. You can see you have options along the bottom during playback. You can play and pause it. Um, that can also be done with the play and pause button here. Uh, but that's a setting that you can change in the app settings. You can stop it all together and also you can see here rewind 10 seconds back um, obviously for kind of longer texts. Uh, by default up here you've got um, it to automatically detect your language. It supports up to 30 languages so if you paste something in another language it can recognize it or you can you know just select one and it will um, read out in that language. So I'm just going to stop this now. So that is one way of using readout. You can paste text directly into this text field here. Another way through if you are an email, you just have to share to read it now. As such, again, it will download the file and it will automatically play. And that is a setting by default to auto play. And you can change that as well. Slightly bigger file. And there you go. The it's really. Okay, so that's from um, the hub, seconds. and I shared an, yes. a long email that I wanted read out to me. Again, you still have the same options along the bottom here. But this is directly in the hub. So I'm just going to come out of that and go back here. Um, so that is the other way of using Read It Now, just sharing from BBM, even from WhatsApp, if you were sent a long bunch of text, but generally I use it for emails. So we just jump into the settings right here. Preferred language, you can set the default one up at the top. This is the option for play and pausing with the play and pause physical button. Visual theme, you know, if you, and also to download only um, on Wi-Fi. You can turn that off, um, but it's toggled on to download whatever network you're using. And you see here the auto play as well. If you don't want it to automatically play, turn it off, but it's on by default. And again, you can close the card from within the hub automatically after it's finished playback if you want, but that's off by default. So that's a quick look at Readout, a uh, pretty nice text-to-speech app that the developer thought to make because he wanted to integrate it actually with his Read It Now app and um, and has released it as a standalone app too that you can use for text-to-speech. It's currently at the time of recording this video available for 99 cents but its regular price is $1.99 so get it now if you're watching this. Um, otherwise it's $1.99 you can get it for all BlackBerry 10 devices from BlackBerry World today. Read out.